good. <laughs> hey, man. I'll give you a realistic hug. What are you doing? Uh, talking, practicing for the DVD mod. Catch nothing to practice, he's lying. <laughs> you, you having a DVD? You can't practice it on me. You got broken feet. Uh -uh. I just got this, George. <laughs> it's like the Jaguar things, but it's- That's like about your socks, bro. <laughs> oh, that, that's Bernie and Ernie. <laughs> Bernie and Ernie, bro. Don't worry about that. That's new, though. It's like the Jaguars, but it's a kangaroo. It's pretty sick. <laughs> what are you doing right now? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Cats came here, didn't say anything. He didn't speak for an hour and a half. We were watching a scary movie, and it's like an hour in. And the only thing he says is Wayne says one word, and he just says, Fuck you, Wayne. <laughs> Doesn't speak for an hour in the, in the house. That's all he says. He's all here, right, Wayne? Yeah. yeah. It's honky Wayne. What did you think so? Wayne. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of motherfuckers here. What's up, bro? What up? What's up, guys? How you doing? We chilling. Sorry, you sound like a big chillin'. idiot. No, you're good. You wanna do it on me? You know. Can I do it on you? <sighs> yeah, do, can you do it on one leg? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want me to leave Bert on? I got two of them. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave Ernie on. Take Bert off. I thought it was Bernie and Ernie, but it's Bert and Ernie. What's going on? I can't believe we're about to give him a check for this shit. <laughs> Keep the inside of the knee up. The way your auntie's blood pressure is because she's diabetic. <laughs> Keeping your knee attached to your ankle here. The same way you're attached to uh, to that social security check. Now we're getting into the sweets. We got a little Debbie cake of a position here. That's close. That, you definitely were on the right track. Shoot. That was pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I definitely was <laughs> like fucking your grandma's old lady. Keep going. What else? <laughs> Pull the list and I'll just fucking randomly quiz you. That was pretty good. It was very uh, controversial. It's like similar to Dave Chappelle's new skit that just came out. Oh, he's under the wrestling coach. All right, how's my stance? All right, we see him. Oh, dude, you're gonna win. <laughs> state champion. <laughs> 2021 state champion. Single leg. This is what you should put on the DVD. You gonna go for the single leg? Is this a patch wrestling DVD? Yes, yes, this is a to be Soon. Austra that? Australian All American. When you grab the leg, you just fuck that. Hold on to it like it's a fucking little. And then a cold guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Smash the oh, oh. You Don't take it down in the kitchen? No, you no can't, probably you, not. You're doing, the, you're doing the crocodile roll. You gotta do the gator roll. Otherwise, you're gonna have to compromise his ACL. If they, get, if they guillotine you, do it. Very good. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, it works. It does work. Right it, to the it back. Does work. <laughs> What do you think about Couch making his first DVD ever oh. this weekend? I think it'll be uh, a hit. I think after the, you know, after my fee, my, manage, my, my managerial fee of 95%, oh I think he's going to come out ahead. You know, he's worked very hard. There's a whole system that he's brought into this. Inter the Appalachians. In integrating Appalachian American and Australian Jiu Jitsu Open all combined. Are you going to donate all the money to the community in Hazard? Oh, yeah. I think you should do that. Yeah, no. He actually yeah, just yeah, taught you, a you, seminar. You, you see what the they're, you you see what they're doing with that money? <laughs> <laughs> he, he just taught a seminar at the rival high school. That's the rich kid high school. What happened at the rival high school? It was real. It was real. We looked it up. It was real. It was real as fuck. It happens every year. It happens all the time. They did that when I was in ninth grade. So the guys dressed up as girls and they gave lap dances to the teachers. Is that what happened? Just a little sexual assault. At Hazard assault. High School, where I didn't go, yes. That's but the true. kids did it to the teachers. What's wrong with that? That's assault. What that. did they do? The kids dressed up as girls, and they gave lap dances to the, to the teachers. And That's then they not real. Right. Yeah, it was That's real. Not real. It was real. We <laughs> looked it up. What y'all think about Couches making his first DVD this weekend? About goddamn time. How do you think it's going to go? He's going to kill it. It's going to be funny. I don't know. You already know that shit's gonna be good. He's yeah. easily watchable. You know, for him to make his definitely, he's gonna fucking kill it. You know, especially just with his personality and everything. It's perfect for entertainment purposes. It'll be more than a DVD. It'll be a funny to look at too. He's gonna get a lot of Chad. 
And what? You're gonna get a lot of chad, a lot of cheese, a lot yeah. of money. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was pussy or, or cheddar. No, 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 no. Cheddar. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Because uh, he's been on a roll for paying uh, for the waffle company lately. And we, and we and we broke the streak today because he wasn't there, but we're gonna get he's gonna get this paper and then we're gonna go to Waffle Company, couch is buying. Looking forward to it. We thought about calling him and having him get the bill for us while we were there. Like, oh, <laughs> shit, we can't afford this. I think it's sick. He's definitely not prepared. I think after that, maybe he is. But I don't know. It's dope as fuck. He's like the first one from the crew. So I think he's still a blue belt, right? Mm -hmm. He's a blue belt. Like yeah. coming from white belt and going to blue belt and then having a DVD. And he just wears his Nogi gear around all the time, like in action right now. He's wearing it. You know, the, it never leaves him. The tone of, the tone of Jiu Jitsu and the Appalachians never leaves him, you know? And where he grew up, he grew up in the mountains. He had nothing, no shirt, no shorts. He's a caveman. That's why he's so hairy right now. Look at Vicky's toes, like he can rock climb with his feet. He doesn't even need to use his hands. Just, just use his feet. That one's gonna stick. It's true. <laughs> Look at it. Again. <laughs> hey, are you gonna have gluten free DVDs available? Nah, I'm putting extra gluten in these bitches, dude. <laughs> you're, bitches gonna download, you're gonna download the digital file, immediate throat swelling because there's so much gluten. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, it pushed you out, boy. Heads or tails? If it's heads, you get the check when you get to BGD Fanatics. If it's tails, you get nothing. They don't pay you because these are heads or tails. Hey, it's open. Dude. Tails. You're lying, dude. You're fucked. It says it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Tails. Does it feel like traveling about heat? It feels like I fucking lost something. I feel like I, I, I got everything out of the bin, and I was like, I need to double check. But then I was like, I got everything. Yeah. What do I need to double check for? Mm -hmm. What are you reading? Uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I saw it at Heats the other day and I told him I would read it. So I'm going to read it because I'm getting money now. Bitches. All right, cool. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that where we're going? All right, cool. All right, see ya. What's the word? Uh, we gotta meet him at a witch village. We gotta meet Heath at a witch village somewhere in Salem. I don't know anything about it. I'm coming to Boston to film with BJJ Fanatics for my very first Jiu Jitsu instructional DVD. Um, I got the offer a long, long time ago. And I was really eager about it, um, but he just kept telling me like, wait, wait, wait. And I just kept waiting, kept waiting, kept waiting. And now that I've kind of like blown up or got a, got a bit more traction or just became more popular, it's, uh, it's, it's the right time now. Uh, he gave me the okay, so I okayed it with Zynga and Dan from Fanatics, and now I'm up here about to show the world some cool shit. Are you thinking of Mark Wahlberg right now? Because that's what I'm thinking of. That football movie? It looks like that was in Philadelphia, not Boston. It feels the same. It looks the same. Northeast area of the country. And he's from Boston. from Ireland, they're walking and they got the trench coats on their heads. They look like they were from the 1800s. And they fucking look at Tierney, they look at us and they see me talking about them and they stop and they have really rotten teeth. And they're just, ask them, they're just staring at me, waiting for me to make eye contact with them. The guy is going, <sighs> they just, they just wanted to fight right there. And I told them if we see him again, I'm gonna look at him. So we'll probably just get it in right there. Hey, hold on, I'm, that's not real. I don't there's think there's any spots. Right there. It's sixty dollars, bro. There's spots because they're still letting cars in. I paid sixty yesterday. Fuck. 
Park all day, thirty dollars cash. To money. holla! This, dude, that, How'd you that, do that, honey? Yeah, they can't. They don't part of the house. Hey, Dad. Are we doing any more fun? Oh, uh, yeah. So they said that this, this is the oldest. They said that this was the oldest building, I believe, in Salem. From 1650, maybe? Something like that. 1650-ish. So it's about 370 years old. What? So Giles Corey, what they did with them, catch is they they put him down and they they put rocks on top of them and they pressed him to death with the rocks made him overnight and finally it pushed his guts out and then they told him admit it and then at the end he said more weight then he died but he went out like a g ball they put uh the first cable here in 16 <laughs> 16 <laughs> she said this is the oldest house in salem on its foundation still that's crazy. this is it so this is this house is on its original foundation. It's the very first one in Salem. Yeah. 1635. Something like that. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, uh, I'm Alex West. What's going on? Obviously sitting here with Jacob and George. We are here in Middleton, Mass. On our way to Beverly, BJJ Fanatics HQ. We are going to film some leg locks. Jake's gonna show me how to break legs. George is gonna get his leg broken. <laughs> so it's gonna be some cool shit. Hopefully we'll bang it out. And it'll be a fun day. Fuck yeah. Thank you, sir. Awesome, awesome. We got a whole bunch of culture up here. Oh shit. Wow. That's fucking ill. Right? Uh there's tons of shit. Oh. This is sick. Oh, you got the energy drink from the day. Oh, dude, dude, take a shit ton, dude. Nah. What is it? When, uh, oh, I got a great setup. Oh, shit, son. Yeah, that's what. Hey, Playboy, hey. Yeah, hey, Zanga. It's been nice. It's been real nice, Zanga. I tell you <laughs> what, boy. I tell you what. Let me get, I, ain't, I don't even eat nothing organic. Let me get some of these dishes right here, boy. And all this shit, you can get the fucking Quest protein cookies. I'm, I'm, you fucking kidding me? Hold on, I'm gonna get a hydration multiplier. All right, Alex, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we right now? We are in the headquarters of Beverly. Of uh, not Beverly, headquarters of BJJ Fanatics. Of the the king right here, Bernardo himself. Got some uh, infamous <laughs> John Donner hair picture. We got Pouchessa over here. Gary's. Triple C. Oh, dude, are these all the, all the Dante's ever? Oh, nice. Sick, this is where all the magic happens, man. And then we have a whole. Uh, you guys want to see the second studio? Fuck yeah. And we have this studio. Man, this shit's dope. And, uh, I'll bring you over to the second one too. Because we, we book a lot of people. There's Anderson, Cerrito. There's John. So, someone asked me, like, do you think John took that off his back or do you think he just bought a rash dryer and was like, yeah. This thing is fucking They're tiny. Small. Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
So I started training three and a half years ago. And I didn't even, you know, I, pro so my first year in, I, I'm just, you know, finding out about yeah. it. Uh, I don't know anything about it. But I, I know, I know I wanted to do it because I enjoyed it. You know, yeah. like as a kid, I, I messed around and wrestled like with my friends, but yeah. it wasn't like you know Same here. anything right. serious. Yeah. But like, so I was like, all right, so this is fun, and I started doing it, dude. And like, I became a blue belt in that my first ever super fight. So the, the, the kid asked me, he goes, hey, you wanna you wanna go against this guy? All he does is leg locks. So I was like, uh, okay, find out the fucking kid is Placido. And it's like I didn't I didn't know that until there I went up to the uh, the uh, what is it called you know how like you you go up to like up the page that you know, promotion and they they put your like, announcement like who you're gonna fight yeah. and I see it and it says like oh under John Donner I'm like hold on a second this guy looks familiar so then I'm like I like start like doing a little research and I see he's like okay for John and I'm like well I'm gonna get fucked up. Like, uh -huh. this is crazy. Like, this is, like, this is kind of ridiculous. And then uh, after him, I fought this other kid that worked here, too. His name is Sammy. Uh, we had an Iron Man grappling match. And he ended up beating me, but it was, like, it was pretty close. And then, so we started training. And he goes, hey, you want to, you know John Gouda? Yeah. He goes, from, hey, uh, like, he's, he's from the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. He goes, hey, you want to film John Gouda? And I'm like, and he said for BJJ Fanatics. I'm like, yeah. And I was like, I get to learn. Like, sweet. And he goes, oh, by the way, we're going to pay you. And I'm like, dude, you're going to pay me? I was like, <laughs> dude, dude, I would have done this you for free. You guys are getting paid for this? I was like, dude, I would do this for free. Like, this is insane. Like, just to, like, go out there and learn and get exposure. Like, yeah, let's do it. And just ever since then, dude, they just kept calling me back to keep filming people. And it's been super fun, dude. And then uh, I started filming, like, uh, John Carlo. He was, like, my first. Oh, John, I'm really good friends with John Carlo. Big name. Uh, he just won. All right, a few hours in to the filming. How's it going so far? Pretty smooth. This is like day 76 of us being in here, so no, I'm just kidding. It's fucking fun as fuck. It's a lot, it's a lot less, a lot more relaxed than I thought it was going to be for sure. I'm like chilling. It's not that big a deal. I'm not that nervous about it. I feel good. I'm excited. How's Catch doing so far? Fucking amazing, man. Almost two hours in, dude. It's a long DVD instructional, but it's good shit. <laughs> now, now, what would you say if he wasn't here? Yeah, what would you say if the kid wasn't here? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, dude. And, dude, awesome job. Awesome job, man. Come out here and do this for us, man. I ain't filming with nobody but you now. Dude, can we, can we, Anytime, dude. Can we request to have Sorry, you filming. as a filmer? Yeah. Oh, bad ass. We'll just do that then. I just got done filming that motherfucking DVD, boy. What's up? About to get paid like lemonade, baby. Maybe. It could be shit, not sell anything. It could be, but... <laughs> 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 no nah, man, I'm fucking. I was stressed about it before coming up here, and like on the way up here, to even getting here this morning, I was kind of stressed. But now that's over, and I did it, and I fucking got it through with, and I was just myself, and I had a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm not stressed about it no more. I feel like more pumped about it now that it's done than I did before. I'm like really excited to just even have one. It's like amazing, you know. Once you get going, though, like it gets easier. Yeah, to do, right? yeah. Once once you once the ball starts rolling, it's a little bit easier. But before, like this whole week, yeah, man, that was fucking. I really appreciate you filming, dog. That was fucking awesome. No problem, man. It's cool when the cameraman's cool too, because it makes you feel relaxed. Yeah, I mean, I try to make it easy. Yeah. I try not to make people stressed. No, bro, you worked with us fine. You worked with us just fine. How did Alex do as a cameraman behind the scenes? Shit. I mean, uh. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he killed it, man. He killed it. It was like segued with whatever I was teaching perfectly. Like was reading the stuff off, so it made it super easy. It was super fucking, super smooth. Just got done, all wrapped up for the day. With, uh, with, you know, just give me a little rundown of what the whole 
weekend was like, what the whole experience was like. Um, got here uh, yesterday, last or last night rather, about eight o'clock. Um, got to do Halloween in Salem, which is like a, a pretty monumental thing. This place is known for the witch trials where a bunch of fucked up shit happened. A lot of people died for no reason, really. It's pretty wild shit. All the fucking costumes are getting to spend Halloween with Heath and uh, his family was amazing. And then today we just uh, finished up my first ever DVD with BJJ Fanatics, uh, Daisy Fresh Leg Lock Systems. Finishing, I'll talk to Heath about that. Don't worry about that part. I did DVD today. It's my first one ever. I got to do it with the best team ever. And I just want to thank Michael Zanga, Dan. I want to thank Alex for filming. I want to thank Heath for putting him, putting me in a position to where I could do such a thing. I want to thank all my teammates at Mount Vernon. I want to thank everyone that's going to watch and, you know, support support me in my first DVD and, and buy it. And, you know, hopefully I, ho I can really help you guys with your jiu-jitsu. And I'm just thankful for everyone. Uh, and we just fit, that, that was so surreal to me. When I was a blue belt, um, I remember seeing other people have those kind of DVDs. And one day I was like, man, I would love to do that. But I don't know if that's really possible. But the farther and farther I got into my career and the, the more and more support I gained from every one of you and every one of my teammates and, and Heath and everyone in Mount Vernon, the more I started to believe that. So now it's, it's a reality and it's pretty surreal. <laughs>